and we're back with a little tutorial nugget on duplicate training or duplicate gyms. Now there was a, a comment by Waffle Nimby was just looking for a quick uh, tutorial on this and it's it's fairly simple to do these. It just takes a few little quirks to make it nice and simple. Now when would you actually need a gym? After you get up at Atmosuit Docks. Once you've set up Atmosuit Docks it's a good idea not to let your duplicates anywhere near them until they've got some skill points under their belt. The reason being a duplicate that doesn't have any skills in using an Atmosuit Dock will get a massive negative to movement speeds. So right here we have Camille. Camille has absolutely zero skills, zero anything. She's just freshly printed and ready to get stuck into the colony. She hops into an Atmosuit, goes out the door and then immediately gets passed out by everyone while she slowly waddles up the ladder. The reason being she is wearing an Atmosuit and she does not have the Atmosuit training skills. So her athletics are at minus six. So minus six for wearing an Atmo suit because she doesn't have the skill necessary. Skill required, exosuit training. Exosuit training, uh, exosuit penalty reduction. See that penalty reduction? It gets rid of it, basically. So we grab any other duplicates, say Mum Ra here, grab their skills, get into athletics. Their athletics are exosuit training plus six, um, exosuit training plus two, and Atmo suit minus six. Those three things in red, they're, they're all combined with exosuit training and using the exosuit dock. The Atmosuit uh, minus six doesn't go away, you just get a plus six to counteract it. And a plus two athletics on top of that, so it's always great. So you do not want your duplicates leaving the base until they've got some sort of training. Oh my god, she's so slow. We'll just change her back there to that again. Now... So, how do you make sure your duplicates only go into the gym to train, and how do you make sure no one else goes in? Well, first things first, you set up the, uh, the default access policy here. The, every duplicate that's freshly spawned is allowed in, and then after they've finished training, I stop them from being able to access the gym. So all of these dupes have been barred from entering here, they can only exit. So any new dupes will be able to run in this door and immediately start working on the gym the moment they're spawned. Camille should be back here quite shortly. Uh, the next thing you do is, the moment you have spawned that duplicant, the first thing I do is stick up their uh, priorities by one for operate. This should not be entirely necessary because the priority system in here, everything is set to eight, and I, there's nothing else inside my base that's set to eight. So all freshly spawned dupes should come in here immediately and start running on the wheel. Once they've finished here, what you do is you will change their access policy. Just say Camille here again. We would change that so she could only exit once she's finished training. But uh, that's not necessary at the moment. And at the same time, this door over here, Duplicants are not allowed outside the base by default. They can only get outside of the base after they finish training, at which point I'll come down here and allow them act, uh, out. This just means freshly spawned duplicants can't have a chance to mess things up. You don't want them going outside, they'll slow everyone down and just, oh, what happens if they're over here and lunch is called? By the time they get back, lunch will be over, be bedtime will be over, and it will be already the start of their next day, and you'll find them out sleeping on the corner of the map somewhere because they'll never get anything done. The gym very 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 simple all this is is a manual generator hooked up via power cable to a seating light that means a duplicate has to be on it to keep it on and they'll never stop until lunch is called or something like that they will just stay here running if you want to get really complicated about it you can throw on a power transformer and you know hook it up to a transformer and feed it onto your main grid i'm usually not bothered uh, i really don't care i mean the power is useful it's just it's not really worth the heat inside my base now, running on a gym wheel will increase their athletics and their tinkering skill. So early on, all you're going to want, say we've got uh, not the mama here, they were trained a long, long, long time ago. There's been a lot of dupes hired since then. So early on, all you will do is get them improved carrying, improved carrying to exosuit training, and then kick them out the door because they're good to go. However, as it gets later in the game, that's not good enough. Uh, the reason being you'll see not the mama's athletics there is 14. They have very low athletics still because they didn't get too trained up in it and their job doesn't require a lot of running around so their athletics is still very weak. On the newer duplicates as it gets later in the game you're going to want to start skilling them up immediately into advanced research. Failed research and then astronomy. This gives them plus two, plus four, plus six science so they'll have plus six science or research and that will improve their ability to gain athletic skills. Athletic skills are just listed down there. That 60% bonus means they'll gain athletics and tinkering 60% faster while they're running on the wheel. After they've gained those three, let's say grab Princess Leher. She was one of the last, oh, she was one of the last class of getting exosuit first, but I eventually had to leave her in here because her athletics were too low when it was time to leave. So say Gary here is the first of the new breed. They've got six athletics. Baldrick is up to mm, four, so yeah, they're still terrible. 
all of these duplicates, all the newer ones, will be assigned straight into these three first, and then after those three are achieved, they'll then get uh, the three to for exosuit training. And these six skills will be every single one of them will get it, all of them, all the new recruits. By the time they leave here, their athletics are going to be somewhere around well, minimum of 15. Sometimes I'll leave them in a bit longer and cook them up until they've hit about 20. Just having all that extra athletics to start makes them much more productive as duplicates. This is very, very useful. If you've ever had some of those slow duplicates waddling around and then waiting for them to deliver supplies or do anything like that, you'll know how useful this is. Very simple system. So just to go over it one more time, this door is set to auto allow access and then you just ban other dupes from coming in. You'll have to, it's a little bit of a manual list at the start, but once you've finished it, it's just, you'll be removing one dupe, one at a, a dupes one at a time. And for this, it's no dupe is allowed outside your base until they've finished at the, the gym. That's it. Rest of the time they'll come in here, run on the wheel, develop their tinkering and their athletics, and by the time they finish, you've got a productive dupe ready to do their job. Quick side note, I uh, forgot to mention there are other gyms you can build. You can build a gym that trains strength. Uh, it requires dumping water off a dumping water down and having it mopped. Mopping is a, a strength training skill. However, I consider mopping well, a strength not really that useful, especially considering you're already going to be getting both the improved carries. Uh, 10 strength is worth about 400 kilos of carry capacity. Improved carry already gives you that. And improved carry 2 gives you another 800 kilos. So getting the strength is useful if you get up to 20. I just don't consider it worth the time investment. The time investment of it in athletics is definitely worth it. I mean, it takes about mm, 30 cycles, 20 to 30 cycles, and you'll get a dupe with six skill points who's mastered astronomy and has mastered exosuit training along with improved carry. They can immediately carry stuff and they can immediately use exosuits and they can immediately sprint. Definitely worth 20 to 30 cycles of investment in new dupes. Anyway, hope this was at least uh, mildly useful to you, and uh, good luck.